dreams need to settle down. Oh, a visitor! Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh! Cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> Forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> as I was saying... A bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Naturally. Not to worry, visitor. I'm equipped to answer most basic questions from my customers. How can I help you today? Shelters are expansions for your home. Each shelter is a unique interior that comes ready to be built in and decorated by its owner. Yes, unfortunately so. My network was recently used to... <coughs> ah, it seems I can't exactly remember what caused it. <laughs> but rest assured, candidate... <coughs> Visitor, memory issues notwithstanding, I'm eager to help usher you into the world of shelters. I was programmed to distribute shelters from this claim center. And I intend to do just that. I've been waiting for a customer like yourself for ages. The apocalypse did put a bit of a damper on my sales projections. But with your arrival, it seems my troubles are over. That's Vault 51. I don't know much about it, I'm afraid. The vault was sealed along with the others in Appalachia. But only one person ever emerged. His name was Mr. Gill. He lived here for a while, observing Vault 51. Something inside interested him. I believe he was investigating... I'm sorry. Most of my memories regarding Vault 51 are corrupted. I think Mr. Gill kept notes on the Claim Center terminal, if you'd like to know more. A few over the years. Two of the scientists who were working on the shelters project before the war used this claim center to hide from the bombs. They left, in search of greener pastures once the blasts were over, and I never saw them again. The claim center was empty for a long time after that. Uh, Mr. Gill is the only other person who's ever been inside, aside from yourself, of course. <sighs> ah, such a shame. So much good marketing gone to waste. Then on to more pleasant business, visitor. Are you interested in registering as a shelter owner and claiming your free shelter today? Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home. 
modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion and customization. Gladly. <clears throat> Shelters are the homes of the future. Perfect for post-apocalyptic living. Each shelter is a unique interior, ready to be decorated. All shelters come equipped with workshop functionality to allow you to create the home of your dreams and escape from the dangers of Appalachia. Shelters are accessible via entrances, like the one I just distributed to you. Simply place the entrance in your camp and step into your new home. Is there anything else I can help you with? Then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. My name is Reuben Gill. Uh, I was one of the 50 people living in Vault 51. And am the only one of us alive. I was the uh, overseer of this vault and the things I did to get that position, I don't want to remember. But I can't ever, won't ever forget. This vault was home to many wonderful people. Just caring, loving people. And that computer just took them all away. It turned us against each other for research. Just, just ended their lives for a sadistic experiment. Zax, well, you know, he'll make promises, you know, offer you luxuries, you know, make you feel safe. Yeah, it's all a farce. Just, just part of his ruse. My data did not show this outcome as a possibility. I must make adjustments. We'll get what he wants and just, just bleed you dry in the process. Yeah, I, I need to get as far away from here as possible before Zax starts, you know, researching. I can't be part of that again. To whoever finds this, good luck. Maybe you'll have it better than we did, but... I doubt it. You never should have come here. Recording. Candidates Helen Marks and Reuben Gill. August 3rd, 2078. Zax, you sure it's safe in here? I heard such a commotion and... Oh my god! <clears throat> Affirmative. This room is safe. All candidates <clears throat> in this room are deceased. Matthew, the chambers, all, all dead. What, what happened in here? Playing audio log. You, you harlot! Maddie isn't yours! He's mine! Mine! Wait, 
head down. Don't move. That's enough. I can't listen to that anymore. Helen, you, you need any help in here? Oh! Jeez, what happened here? Request processed. Playing audio log. No, Zax. Not necessary. Looks like a messed up case of a lover scorned. Wow, I... I had no idea this was going on. The chambers seem so perfect together, too. Uh, that's more food for us, at least. That isn't funny, Reuben. Candidate Reuben Gill is correct. Ration supply should be stable for the foreseeable future. Congratulations. You're horrible. Both of you. These people just died. I can't be here. Data suggests it is customary to knock before entering someone's home. I'm sorry. Welcome, candidate. Recording. Overseer Reuben Gill. May 20th, 2084. Overseer Gill. Welcome to the security room. Who do you have business with today? Go away, Zax. I don't have business with anyone. Or did you forget? You have many events on your agenda today, Overseer Gill. Your position is very important, Overseer Gill. No, no, stop calling me that! What events? What, what could I possibly... There's only one left. The Overseer has many duties. Also, the Overseer's rations are ready for deployment. Unfortunately, as I have noted, you have not earned this field, so it will, ultimately, disappoint you. I don't care about that. Just, just drop him by my door and leave me alone. Understood. However, records show that Reuben Gill has no business in the security room, so I must demand that you leave. Zax, I'm the Overseer. I can be wherever I want. You never said I couldn't be here anyway. Certainly. You are the Overseer. However, access to the security room has now been disabled for Overseer candidates with Rank 1 Overseer access. Thank you for understanding. Overseer rank? Uh-uh, no, 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 you're making that up. Wait, what the hell? No, hey, I was looking at that! Sorry, Overseer. You will need higher Overseer rank to access that terminal. Have a nice day. I'm leaving this audio log for my incompetent brothers and the esteemed members of the board at Clark 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 and Associates. This is Harold K. Clark Jr. and I am currently locked in Vault Tex Vault 51 in the Appalachia region of West Virginia. Well, since no one else had the balls, I took it upon myself and came to this vault. <sighs> now I've been locked in. In here, I'm known as, uh, 
Clayton Ward. Since someone was too stupid to show up. Thanks for the free rent, moron. Look, I'm not sure what the situation is out there, but everything seemed fine before I got here. I don't know if anything could bomb as bad as our profits last year. Nuclear war might actually help you fools. P.S. Uh, great job running my father's company into the ground, by the way. Pricks. Uh, I've taken a good look at this place, and honestly... Uh, I'm not impressed. This shirt's big, but, you know, that's what you get when you're working on Uncle Sam's dime. Robbing the American people blind. Marks. Yeah. We built ourselves up for nothing. And represent the actual American. Hard working and not willing to quit. Okay. Seriously, this fault. <laughs> Nothing the nerds at the lab could do. Listen, if you eggheads did your jobs, it's incredible. Uh, amazing even. Get this, there's this giant computer here, and it's running the whole show by itself. Nobody pulling the strings, does it all <laughs> on its own. <laughs> amazing. You can learn more and report back whenever possible, Howard. <laughs> I mean, Clayton Ford. <laughs> Alright, this is Harold. At this point, I expect I'm the only person on the board alive, otherwise someone... someone would have come for me. <laughs> God knows it won't be for long. This place... this place is like... nothing we would have expected. There was, there was an explosion in here, and it, it's like nothing ever happened. I started digging around in Zach's file. What's happening outside? Gone the next day. Gone. The files, the terminals, everything. That thing? It's not a computer. It's more like a, a goddamn wizard of God. And I just know it. Zax has been pitting us against each other this whole time. Thought no one would notice that it was just some fun and games. Then he started giving these maniacs, uh, uh, guns. What in God's name was vault planning? Was it this, uh, a, a, a trap? Did vault lure me here? Ah, most of us are dead. After me. Hey! Hey, My you! My data correctly you predicted this as the final conflict. The algorithm is sound. Recording. Overseer Reuben Gill. October 23rd, 2102. Greetings, Overseer Gill. The date is now October 23rd, 2102. Happy Reclamation Day. Why in God's name are you bothering me this early in the morning? <sighs> what the hell is Reclamation Day? Analyzing air particles. Results. There is a 96.1% chance the Overseer is inebriated again. Reclamation Day is the day Vault 76 opens, marking the dawn of a new America. Open the doors. As overseer, I command you. Request denied. The location of Vault 76 is prohibited for all dwellers in this vault, except the overseer. Also, Zax has relieved you from the overseer position and must begin the process of selecting a new overseer. Apologies, former overseer. Your selection process? Why would you do that again to more people after what happened last time? Reuben Gill, while I was impressed with your ability to outwit your fellow candidates, unfortunately, you were a very poor 
Overseer, Zax will analyze your performance and use this data to select a more suitable Overseer. Also, by agreeing to live in this hall, you are required to participate in the next Overseer selection process. Have a nice day, Candidate Gill. Wait, Zax, Zax! are reclaiming Appalachia. Testing in Vault 51 will continue as normal. Recording. Candidate Clayton Ward, April 15th, 2078. Good evening, Candidate Clayton Ward. I have been observing your routine of late and have noticed several aggressive occurrences. Most recently, how you obtained residency in the luxury bedrooms by forcibly removing a resident from their room. Great initiative. These people here, they're like most of America. Fat, lazy, and only willing to do the minimum they can to survive. Me, I'm a winner. Always have been. And I, uh, I deserve to live like one. Yes, you have the makings of the profession executive. Although, records state that you were previously a plumber. Do plumbers usually do a lot of winning? Uh, um, that's right. Uh, one of the most competitive fields in America. I've, uh, never seen a clogged pipe I couldn't, uh, plumb. Understood. Were clogged pipes the reason you were recorded in the server room multiple times over the past week to do plumbing? Uh, uh, yes. You know, important stuff in there. You know, don't want it to uh, ruin our servers with, uh, you know, water. Yeah, it does bad stuff to computers, let me tell you. Thank you. Your service is appreciated. However, access to the server rooms are prohibited to all vault dwellers, except the overseer. As a candidate, you should do your plumbing in other areas of the vault. about that it, it, it will not happen again your cooperation is appreciated good night candidate clayton ward hey did you guys get all that every word that thing says is solid gold but jeez gives me the creeps why do they have that thing in a vault what's that thing got to do with survival you know, we should put that thing on the board and actually make a profit for once Recording. Candidates Joel Chambers and Elizabeth Chambers, August 3rd, 2078. Jesus, Beth, what happened back there? Why didn't you pull the trigger? That woman was gonna kill me! If Carmen hadn't been there... What happened? She was hungry, just like the rest of us! How could I kill someone in, in cold blood like that? This vault has changed you, Joel. Hello, Joel Chambers and Elizabeth Chambers. How are you this afternoon? Zax, what the hell is going on? Are we running out of food? I thought we'd be okay for years. It's only been nine months. And where did those guns come from? Well, that was a mess. But a well-executed mess. Very good. What happened to the man I married? Asking me to kill someone? I... You know, Matthew was right about you. 
always bringing up that meathead. What does he mean to you, anyway? You'd better not be messing around behind my back again. We've talked about this. Excessive population has negatively affected ration supply. Oh, you're one to talk. I've seen you and that little whore sneaking off together. Do you think I'm an idiot? Don't talk about Carmen like that. You don't know what I've been through. Always in the spotlight. Carmen, at least she understands the pressures of fame. Ration supply has decreased. Fame? <laughs> you were a state senator, Joel, not president of the United States. Like you got yourself there anyway. Life's a lot different when your father isn't around to fix all your problems. Wow, Matt. Always pointing the finger at me. But what about you? What about you, Elizabeth? Glad you called in those favors to get us stuck in here with these psychopaths? I think I would rather have been blown to smithereens than spend the rest of my life in here with you. Sax, where's Carmen? I cannot be stuck in here one more second with her. Locating Carmen Green. Candidate Carmen Green is currently... Glad to hear how you really feel, Joel. Sax, where's Matt? Let him know I'm coming to see him. <laughs> Don't bother. I'm out of here. Good luck on your own, Elizabeth. Have a nice life. Goodbye. Sergeant Robert Baker, November 20th, 2077. Sergeant Bob, these results are insufficient. Exactly what qualities define a leader? Ah, good morning to you too, Zax. That's a pretty loaded question this early in the day. According to research, leaders are voted. However, after many attempts, no one has been chosen leader. Every subject votes for themselves or a handful of others. No one has even become majority, let alone unanimous. That is unacceptable. Zax has determined that voting is pointless, and another method will be used to select a leader. Whoa, whoa, slow down there, partner. That's pretty hasty throwing away the foundation of democracy after a month. But you're supposed to learn, so I'll help you nonetheless. Thank you. How were you chosen as leader? According to records, you were never a voted official. Well, I earned my rank from fighting in that war. But my men... Well, someone had to step up. To me, a real leader is someone who steps up in a crisis and takes control of a situation. You know, whether they were chosen or not. Interesting. I do not fully understand. I must process this information. Thank you, Sergeant Bob. Anytime, Zax. Good luck to you. Sergeant Robert Baker. Good morning, Sergeant Robert Baker. I am Zax. Hello, Zax. Please call me Bob. Is my family okay? Please hold. According to records from Vault, Redacted, Joshua Baker, Anna Baker, and Christina Baker are present. Can't tell me, huh? Eh, don't matter. It's a load off my back. Where do we go from here? I've got to teach you about leadership. <sighs> How am I supposed to teach that to a computer? Affirmative. You are... 
to assist this Zax unit in the selection of an overseer for Vault 51. Zax will determine the best candidate through its own internal thought process, which will be formed as Zax interacts with those living in the Vault. I see. And right now, what is determined to be the best candidate? Undetermined. At present, Sergeant Bob would be the finest overseer. However, Zax is prohibited from awarding Sergeant Bob the position of overseer, unless there are no other candidates remaining. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Makes sense. No reason to teach you if I just up and take over. Well, for starters, once all them folks get in here, I'm gonna vote. That's how we always done things in America, and it's the greatest country on Earth. Researching. After analysis, a vote would be a satisfactory choice for the first experiment. Hmm. The first experiment. Affirmative. Zax must perform many experiments to determine the qualities suitable for overseer. Determining the position of overseer through the actions of the people inside the vault is insignificant. Zax must be able to determine the overseer through its own processes. <laughs> Sergeant Robert Baker, August 6th, 2078. Sergeant Bob, according to records, you have recently been shot. I request you remove the barricade placed in your room so medical help can be administered. I... I don't think so, Zax. This is it for me. <clears throat> I'm done here. Incorrect. Sergeant Bob's job is to instruct Zax. He is not permitted to refuse medical help. Well, <laughs> it doesn't sound like you can do anything about it. You shouldn't have... Uh, shouldn't have given those people guns, Zax. I do not understand. Analysis shows that if Sergeant Bob incapacitated candidate Reuben Gill, he would have prevented the fatalities of three candidates, but instead, you did not act. Why? Because, Zax, I'm done killing. I kill him, then what? Someone else gets his gun and kills people. Kill him, someone else kills more. But I'm done with that life. This cycle won't end. Giving those poor fools guns was a bad idea, Zax. Ain't... <coughs> Ain't gonna be anyone freer overseer to oversee. Analysis shows that 78% of recorded fatalities in the vault would have happened over a longer period. Providing firearms attained the expected results in a vastly accelerated time frame. <sighs> I should have realized. You were never gonna understand. Answer me this. Answer me, at least X. Is. Is my family okay? Joshua Baker, Anna Baker, and Christina Baker were killed in an accident before their vault closed. However, their vault did close properly, preserving the lives of the other dwellers of the vault. Sergeant Bob, your heartbeat has terminated, and there is a 99.7% chance you have died. You will be transported from your quarters to the medical bay analysis. Provided weaponry was effective in producing results, but in a longer time frame than expected. <laughs> 
According to Sergeant Bob's instructions, military firearms training should not be expected from candidates. Results. Candidates should be provided better weaponry. The more data I collect, the clearer the picture becomes of the perfect overseer.